the bare minimum. And we see that he's not in the home being a stable person in the home. He's being a businessman. He's an entertainer. He's bouncing around. He has other women. He has other children. He's just living his life. And you mean to tell me you can't ask this man for a nanny? That's asking for too much? Man, Nick Nick ran a beautiful game on you. But I'm going to respect you and say he ran a good game on his baby mothers. I, I just see myself, to answer your question, I think I see monogamy for myself down the line, and this won't get me there. Um, but I'm, I love where I'm at at this very moment, but it's not my forever. I mean, anybody who's involved in Nick, I think that's great. That's beautiful. There's, that's his world. That's not my world. And, um, but I find it, I find it fun to be honest. Like, oh, look, they're involved with everybody too. It's sweet. Like, I love it. But I think it was the, the same balloons and all that. It's like, come on. Also, you like, sent us different, like yeah, like you could have sent us different color balloons or different floral arrangements. And I remember sitting uh, Nick down and being like, we got to talk. Like, we got to really put names and categories of like what color balloons are going to like, what flowers are best for who, what would wear. And he, th- he thinks I'm just funny whenever I say that. But I really mean it. I'm really just trying to prevent these crazy situations from happening and having the world just attack us. Welcome back to Conversations with Me. I'm your host, Katrina Gibbs. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that bell notification to get every video that drop. Also, if you would like to support the show in a real way, hit that cash app, hit that PayPal that you see on the screen. So let's talk about it, right? Now, this Nick conversation is an ongoing conversation on my channel because it's like, listen, okay, now, number one, them his kids, that's their relationship. I don't got to take care of nobody, so I'm not trying to do no deep dive psychological, is he a narcissist, which I, and, you know, all that, you know, I'm not trying to do none of that. I'm actually speaking and thinking about the young women that are in this situation and young women who see or think they could be in this situation or think that it's gravy. I'm just trying to forewarn young women about this type of stuff, right? Those women who don't have children yet and they're still young and think that you can do this or think that, man, this is going to be easy. Let's just all try it, right? Well, in the beginning, you see the videos play, and the girl said that he got, like, three of the baby mom the same balloons and the same flowers because they were all, I guess, announcing that they were pregnant by him or, you know, soon to be due by him, right? And <laughs> and that became an issue amongst them. So in my head, I said, if that's an issue, if we're talking about something that surface, balloons and flowers, if that's an issue, right? So you mean to tell me bigger things that when these kids get older is not going to be an issue and these girls ain't going to come to social media about it? First of all, that was the big thing about two weeks ago. All, all his baby mamas get along and they don't do nothing crazy on social media. So I was like, oh, let me look. Okay. In that interview, right, she kind of spilled the beans on Nick on what Nick is doing. Nick got a 27-year-old girl, two 31-year-old girls. Mariah Carey, we already know that was his marriage. Uh, Some 40-year-old girl, I believe, pregnant or just had her baby, right? But out of them three young girls, and he's 40, he's 40-something, I believe, I said, oh, Nick is good. Let me tell you why he good. Because he's running the, I just want to open a relationship. No labels, no constraints, you know? Like, I just want to love you and, you know, be with you. And, you know, when we not a, with each other and we're apart, I'm not going to be mad if you be with somebody else. Don't be mad if I'm with somebody else. Because our love runs deep. It doesn't need any label. That's the game he getting these hoes with. <laughs> and the reason it's funny is because to capture these three young girls' minds, right? 
it's crazy because they they're entrenched in what's going on right now and they really think that's not my situation that'll never happen to me no this is different this is way different than any other girl he's ever dealt with this is way different than any other relationship you've ever heard on earth this is different this is open we're honest this is our thing and they're really in their head living in this blissful naive world we've seen this hurt play out you've heard it play out i don't know if you read books but it's been in books movies and everywhere else this is gonna end bad for if not just (laughs) y'all it's gonna end up bad for nick right because she in this interview she kept saying oh um it's not about the money like we connected on a deeper level miss me with the shit right so and i get it people do connect on deeper levels i'm not saying that that's impossible but what i am saying is your those feelings are going to wear off right you got the baby you the one with the baby you already said this lady in this interview said that the open relation she is monogamous with nick right he is the one in the open relationship he's told her that she can go be in an open relationship but she's not choosing to do that right now she also said in her future she don't even see herself with nick cannon but they had three kids or four kids now one of the two and she like she said she's 31 years old and said this isn't my forever talking about being with nick cannon And she's afraid to go on and take three children on to the next relationship. And I'm just here to tell you, baby, that's going to be, I'm not, trust me, it's plenty of niggas out here who want to take care of babies and who want to be the dad and all that. I'm not saying that that's hard to find. But what I am saying is, he going to have to be just as rich. You get what I'm saying? He's going to have to, and and, and not even rich, but he's going to have to want to take on four people. You and them three kids, right? On top of that, himself. So that's five people. He's going to have to have an income to withstand five people in one household. You mean to tell me he ain't going to be like, hey, bitch, hey, get at Nick. We, hey, we, not only do we need his help, but he need to kick in in a real way more than what the fuck he doing right you mean to tell me like let's say he but i don't see too many just balling ass dudes that's just like i'm about to take care of all (laughs) for y'all i mean i just don't you get what i'm saying and and don't get me wrong i know niggas is a motherfucking trip for light skin and the way bitches look i'm not i'm not lost that's not lost on me so i understand that could play a factor But I just don't see it just popping off for you like that. So it's like, as a young woman, why would you stick yourself in that situation? And this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying I'm talking to young ladies. Don't fuck yourself for your right now thinking. The picture is way more bigger than what you feel right now. And that's for everybody. Because it's going around in just society and on social media that you're supposed to do what feels good right now today and that's instant gratification and we can't just live our lives on what has happened instantly we have to think about damn how is this going to affect me this time next year uh three years down the line how is this going to affect me at five years yo you get what i'm saying five years old five years down the line right Like, we have to start thinking like that. Yeah, it feels good to say, man, fuck it. I throw my hands up. I'm living free today. But you do do that type of thing, and you live free on your own. You don't bring in children on that type of situation. That's a no-no, young ladies. No, 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 no. If you want to live free, you live free by yourself. You do not bring in children in that situation because what tends to happen is, Okay, 
And this is what's this is why I say this situation is going to blow up and not be the best situation. You're young. You have all these kids, three kids, bam, set on you. First of all, she's not even stable enough. I'm not going to question her mental capacity. She says sometimes social media gets to her, right? If social media is eating you up, hey, man, them three kids in your life going to me. This is just me. One kid, cool, right? Two kids, you crazy, bitch, and I got two kids. <laughs> two kids, you crazy. Three kids or more, bitch, you're in fucking insane. You're insane. How do you maintain your mind and three other minds on top of that? A whole nigga's mind on top of that? Bitch, you're nuts. No, you're nuts. It's something going on up here. Are you just not giving a fuck? Motherfuckers is just growing up and we just here in the world. That's the only way you're able to manage those situations. Be crazier than a motherfucker or just not care, right? So, you being a young lady at 31, you going to take on all this and then say, I know this is, I know this end, this isn't going to end the way I want it to end, even though I want it to end with Nick, I I, I got to carry on by, about my business because he's in an open relationship with all these women. And you agreed to it? That's that right now thinking, right? So. And it, this is another reason I, <laughs> we are on, I'm on social media, right? And I see this pop up. So Nick Cannon's new baby mom says she ain't getting no sleep at night, right? Only reason I'm laughing is because babies kick your ass, man. That's what people don't understand. I've said it plenty of times on my channel. If you really want to know, I talk about motherhood in a real way because I am really in my children's life in a real way i am creating minds and molding minds creating a husband and creating a wife for some individual in the world and i hope that i'm doing a good enough job that these two little people grow up and be normal human beings don't get in the comments and say well what's normal you know what i mean so the new other new baby mom <laughs> she ain't getting no sleep right <laughs> so the ladies say well maybe you need to get a nanny so you can get some sleep at night and she said oh sure are you gonna pay for it and she like no tell nick cannon to pay for it <laughs> nick cannon is my fucking child's father he's not a sugar daddy wait hold on uh, who the hell said him getting a nanny makes him a sugar daddy that that's how you know you there for the fucking money. <laughs> you <laughs> you so there for the money, you accidentally let it slip out in another way, stupid. But <laughs> so nobody said a nanny, Nick getting a nanny is him being a sugar daddy. What the lady was trying to convey to you is that, honey, you need a nanny. Hey, I feel like motherhood would be that much easier if everybody came with a nanny like if you was assigned a nanny for the first year of the baby's life life would be i feel like your anxiety will come down your postpartum depression will leave sooner all of that would just help because you have a helping hand on staff right and then everybody wants to say oh um it takes a village it takes a village and yet and i'm here to tell you if you're not pregnant, young ladies, and you haven't experienced this yet, everybody is around you. They rub in the belly, and they're taking the pictures, and they like, congratulations, and I hope you have a healthy baby. If you need me, call me. I'm here for you whenever. You just call me. And they there for you. Like, damn, man, I really need you to come swing by. I'm kind of feeling this way, feeling that way. You know, you ain't had the baby yet, man. But as soon as that baby get here, hey, I'm up. I, I gotta go work. Uh, ooh. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna call you later. Hey, do you mind? You can. I got a doctor's appointment. Uh, yep. Yeah. Like, but no, I didn't even tell you what time it was. Yeah, whatever time you think it is, that's when my doctor's appointment gonna be. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye. 
Nobody's going to be there to help you with that baby, i.e. That's why this bitch ain't getting no goddamn sleep. Why Nick Cannon needs to provide a goddamn nanny. Right? So, she's like... <laughs> I can go on and on and on and on about this situation because I am a mother. But for you, that's the bare minimum. And we see that he's not in the home being a stable person in the home. He's being a businessman. He's fucking an entertainer. He's bouncing around. He has other women. He has other children. He's just living his life. And you mean to tell me you can't ask this man for a nanny? That's asking for too much. Man, Nick Nick ran a beautiful game on you stupid bitches. But I'm going to respect you and say he ran a good game on his baby mothers, right? And you could he, his his game what it's not going to work for a woman who can provide for herself, man. Okay, you guys are cute and you might have a little bit of money, right? That's that's one thing to be cute and have a little bit of money. Mariah said no. Hey, you can, Nick, have at it. Stay here. Fuck on all these balling out girls. Love them. We out of here. I really have money. I really am who I am. Like, motherfuckers put me on a pedestal for real, for real. Like, I don't have to stay around here and have you cheat me, cheating on me with these little bitches. Like, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? And when you can pull a rank like that, on an individual it's like ooh, this shit's i don't like this let me find something that works for me and obviously this open relationship shit works for nick cannon and he just he just getting them with it and they're all agreeing and that's what's crazy to me the reason i'm saying it's crazy is because the, you guys get mad about and maybe i should have said this sooner but she said they felt the way about the balloons and the flower arrangements, right? So how do you how are you gonna feel when you see him spending Christmas with that family and not you and your kids? How are you gonna feel when he makes it to this soccer game and not the soccer game for your kids? How are you gonna feel when he's not able to do what he is doing for everybody else and he don't come around and holler at you with it? You're going to be angry. Like, I, I want y'all to stop living in this fantasy fucking world acting like I can put my problems to the side because this, it just lets me be free. I'm so free in this thinking and acting like your goddamn emotions don't matter because they're going to kick in. That shit going to kick in. And it's going to kick in at the oddest time, right? You ain't even going to be feeling, you're going to be like, hold on, what? I'm I shouldn't even be feeling this strongly about this motherfucker because he's already shown me who he is, but I just want to be with him so much. You mean to tell me you, as a woman you shaking that? You're not. You're just not. Yeah, I know the internet sound cool and saying you healed and all that shit, but bitch, be for real. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. <laughs> Hit that PayPal, hit that Cash App. This is Conversations with me. In the get down in the comments, in the comment section. You know what? Throw up a a, a a a gang of kids. Just throw kids in the comment section. Also with a comment, but just throw some kids in the comment section. <laughs> Conversations with me.